This is Mark Schofield with Inside the Pylon and the Bleacher Report NFL 1000 Project. Alshon Jeffrey had a solid day for the Chicago Bears in their loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars, catching seven passes for 93 yards. But if you tuned in for only the first half, you might be surprised at those final statistics. In the first half, Jeffrey was very effective and ran some crisp routes, particularly against rookie cornerback Jalen Ramsey, and he had six catches for 90 yards at the break. But in the second half, the Bears receiver was targeted six times with only one catch for three yards. Today I'm going to look at what worked in the first half and where Ramsey flipped the script in the second, getting some expert assistance along the way. This first play comes from the first quarter and the Bears face a third and ten on the Jacksonville 44-yard line. Jeffrey split wide to the left to the top of the screen and as you can see he's going to run a deep comeback route past the sticks and working back towards the football breaking sort of towards the sideline to the outside. Ramsey is right across from him and he's in press alignment. And as we go through this play, what you're going to really see from Jeffrey is the change of direction ability at the top of his vertical stem. Ramsey chooses not to press here. He's just going to run with him. So Jeffrey gets a good outside release. Now right here he stops, Ramsey goes right by, and he works back for the catch. I apologize for the angle here. That's honestly the all-22 sideline view that you get from Chicago Bears home games. So you're going to see a lot of the broadcast tape as well, which is actually better for a lot of these plays. This is that same play. Again, you see Ramsey here in press alignment. He chooses not to jam, gives him the release. And there he is. You can see Ramsey's on the ground. Jeffrey's change of direction here is really what sells the route. He stops on a dime. Ramsey tries to read and react to it, but he can't. His momentum takes him upfield, and he drifts away, giving the cushion, getting that separation for Jeffrey on his break. Here's one more look at it, the free release. Right here, Jeffrey maybe pushes off a bit, but it's not flagged. Quick change of direction leads to the separation on the route. This is the very next play. Jeffrey's again split wide to the left. Ramsey's again in press coverage. Jeffrey's going to run a little double move here. Now this time, Ramsey does try to get a jam on him. But Jeffrey sets this up well using a quick stutter step at the snap. That gets the defensive back on his heels just enough. So when Ramsey tries to jam him, he doesn't have the leverage for the jam to be effective. That allows Jeffrey to run right through the jam. And when Ramsey tries to recover, he falls for the double move halfway through the route. There's the attempt to jam, it rocks him back. Now he falls for the double move. The pass is overthrown, but this is a very good route from start to finish from Jeffrey. Here's another look at it. That's just a great route. Gets him back on his heels, the jam isn't effective, and now he stops, sells him on the curl route. A great route, a better ball there, and the Bears have six. Now we'll look at a play from the second quarter. Again, we're gonna get a curl route from Jeffrey. Now this time, Ramsey actually has decent coverage here, and perhaps Jeffrey gets away with a little bit more of a push, but what I want to focus on is after the catch and the play strength from the wide receiver to extend the play after the reception. Ramsey's in press alignment, gets a decent initial jam and stays with him, tries to click and close, but again, he can't wrap him up, and Jeffrey's just too strong for him after the catch. Good initial jam with the inside hand, and he stays with him well. There's that push, works back to the ball, and Ramsey just can't make the tackle. So that those are three of the plays that contributed to, at least on two of them, Jeffrey's big numbers in the first half. That second play was just a great route that Hoyer couldn't connect with his receiver on. Now let's look at the second half. As pointed out at the beginning, Ramsey sort of rebounded in the second half. He was targeted five times... Jeffrey was when Ramsey was in coverage in the second half and Ramsey did not allow a catch with one pass broken up and to sort of highlight how Ramsey was able to flip the script I've enlisted the help of Ian Wharton the cornerback guru who is great in the AFC cornerbacks for the NFL 1000 project he's one of the best there is a great in defensive back play and he chose these plays and I'll be sharing his thoughts and his breakdown with you as we go through them this first play again comes from the third quarter there's 10 minutes and 10 seconds left in the third, and we see another curl route. Jeffrey splits to the left. 
Ramsey's in press alignment. Jeffrey, again, you'll see a little bit of a push off at the top of the stem. Ramsey doesn't get a clean press here, as Ian notes to me, but he does engage and retreat well. Even if Jeffrey catches the pass here, Ramsey will be in good position to recover and make the tackle before the first down marker. You'll see an initial jam there. The pass is thrown wide and incomplete, and Ramsey's in good position. The other thing to note about this route, as we go back and watch it again, you'll see that Jeffrey's going to break to the outside. Even though, as Ian points out, Ramsey doesn't get the cleanest jam here, he gets enough of a jam on him and does a good job of shuffling his feet to the outside. That forces the receiver to release to the inside. It gets Jeffrey off his route path. So when Jeffrey then stops and cuts back, he has more distance to cover to get to where Hoyer expects him to be. The jam, while it's not the greatest jam in the world, it's effective in that it throws off the timing and the distance that the route has to cover. It makes it a much tougher play for the offense, and the initial jam, while not perfect, leads to the incompletion. Let's watch that again. Jam and shuffles his feet, forces him inside, and now everything's off for the offense. Now, if that jam was good, this one's even better. This comes from late in the game. As you can see, we're watching the broadcast angle here. There's a minute 29 left. The Bears are down by one. And it's a second and six play. We again see a comeback curl route on the outside from Ramsey. I mean, from Jeffrey with Ramsey in press alignment. Ramsey's in press. He quickly establishes contact. Ian tells me, and you'll see it here, he correctly uses his inside hand to keep Alshon from crossing his face, forcing the receiver to the sideline. Ramsey smothers Jeffrey on this play, making a reception nearly impossible. You'll see... At the top of this route, there is almost no window for Hoyer to put this ball. There's the initial jam. Stays on him with that left arm. Stays with him on the stop. That's just a great job from Ramsey there. Staying right on the receiver's hip. Getting an inside left arm on him and maintaining a relationship with the receiver throughout the duration of the route. Let's look at this final play here. This is the last offensive play of the game for the Bears. It's a 4th and 10 situation. There's a minute and 3 left in the game. The Bears are still down by 1. They need to get into field goal range. Jeffrey's going to run a dig route, but about 15 yards, and that's drawn in as you can see. This time, Ramsey uses off coverage here. Reed and Hoyer's eyes throughout the play. Ramsey's going to show great timing and discipline to complete this pass break up here. As Ian tells me, the route gets rounded off a bit, but Ramsey plays this incredibly well. He reads the route, reads Hoyer, jumps inside the route. He times this perfectly. This is a veteran play from a rookie defensive back. Here's the route. You'll see it get rounded a bit. Ramsey clicks and closes, diagnoses it perfectly, and breaks it up. And cuts right underneath the route. You can't play off coverage on a dig route better than this. Again, he retreats. Reads the play, reads the route, and what the diagnosis there to read that route and break on it is absolutely perfect. Let's watch that one more time because this is great stuff. He retreats, he sees it, he sees the break, cuts right under the rounded route. It's a perfect play from Ramsey. The route's rounded off a bit, and that's why, from my perspective, even though Jeffrey ran some great routes in the first half, his route running score this week was a tick lower than some of the other guys that had good weeks because of his route like that. He sharps that, sharpens that cut a bit. You know, maybe Ramsey doesn't have a chance to get under it, but let's not take anything away from Jalen Ramsey there. That's textbook technique right there. Thanks for watching this edition of Scouting with Schofield for the Bleacher Report NFL 1000 Project. I'd like to thank Ian Wharton for his expert analysis and his con contribution this week. Please follow Ian on Twitter. You can find him at NFL Film Study. I'll be back next week with some more film analysis.